G'day guys, in this video I'm going to be summarizing for you pulleys and tension in static equilibrium. So to consider this, let's draw a pulley just here, right? And let's say that this pulley is fixed. So let's say we've got a support just here. And let's say that this pulley has a rope wound around it. So this is the rope I'm drawing in blue, like this. And let's say it's wound around it. And let's say that it's got a mass on one end, like this. It's got a mass on one end like this, and let's say that it's embedded in the wall in the other end, okay? Now, the, what I want to try and show in this video is if we make a certain set of assumptions, then we can show that the tension in this rope is constant everywhere along the rope, okay? So let me list those assumptions for you. If it's true that one, the rope is massless, or at least negligible compared to the other forces, right? And if we assume that the pin is frictionless, frictionless, right? And if we also assume that the entire thing is in static equilibrium, so nothing's accelerating and nothing is rotating, right? So in static equilibrium, static equilibrium, then we can prove, and I will actually prove this in a separate video, you can prove that the tension T1, say in this part of the in this part of the rope, is going to be equal to the tension in this part of the rope, T2. So T1 is going to be equal to T2. And and in fact, you can go further than that and say the tension everywhere in the rope, even around this bit, is also the same. Okay? So to help you understand what I mean, let's consider a free body diagram of this pulley if I make a cut section around here. Okay, so let's consider this free body diagram within here. Well, we've got our pulley like this. We've got our rope wrapped around it like this and here as well. And we've made cut sections here and here. So let me draw those cut sections out like that. Now, because we've made cut sections along the rope, that means the internal forces in the rope, i.e. the tension, will be popping out. So we'll have our tension force here, which I'll call T1, and we've got our tension force here, which I'll call T2, right? And we've, we can prove that T1 is in fact equal to T2, right? So in fact, there's good reason then to just call it with a T without a subscript, right? There's no need for the subscript if it's everywhere, right? There's no need to distinguish between tension one and tension two if they're always the same. Now, let me fully complete this free body diagram to make it technically correct. Because this is a pin support, we've also got our reaction forces in the horizontal and vertical. And of course, the pulley could be weighing something, so there could be a force due to gravity here. Okay, so this is the complete free body diagram of this particular pulley. If we make this cut section, the most important thing I want you to get out of this is the tension is uniform everywhere. This is a tension T, this is a tension T. I hope that made sense, guys. Cheers.